Hi everyone, uh, it's great to be here at the Ideas Exchange. It's actually my, my first time here, so uh, looking forward to uh, the next couple days. Um, and I feel very fortunate to be able to speak today uh, about the topic of small changes, uh, big, big impacts. So I think about that, it, it, uh, I want to go back to a, a few questions that I sort of asked myself when, when thinking about that topic. So I thought about, what if you had an hour back in your day, uh, in your work day every day? What would it mean for your business if your customers could interact with you 24 seven? And what if there was another value beyond market prices and yield that influenced farm revenues as well as your elevator revenues, your end user revenues? These are the questions I started asking myself just over two years ago before I joined the industry. So I spent 10 years in the grain and crop inputs uh, retail business in Canada. I found myself struggling with seeing a lot of other technology advancements in the industry, equipment and genetics and trading technologies. But the way the contracting grain was done between a farmer and an elevator and an end user um, hadn't changed at the same pace. I think you know, the base change I saw at my time was farmers starting to send text messages about grain prices and confirmed contracts. So, uh, two years ago, I joined Grain Discovery, uh, an ag tech startup based in Ontario. Uh, and we're working on the answers to those questions that I asked previously. Our goal is to simplify the way that grain is treated. So, what we built for elevators and end users is a private internet branded uh, web and mobile platform for them to use with their farmers to digitize the grain marketing process. And this is, it's not an open marketplace, this is designed and need to be built for elevators and, and companies specifically to, to use privately. And within it, it's access to contracts, tickets, settlements, news information, weather data, price analysis, um, as well as automating some of the processes that exist today, e-signatures. But the most important kind of thing that we feel we've done is actually automating the contract. So farmers are actually able to, with one tap on the phone, actually ge generate a live and real contract with their grain elevator or their buyer. So these were the ideas we started with. Um, we started with a small pile of elevators in Ontario and spread across Canada in just over a year. Uh, the results going from the, the results from the test were exactly what we thought. The moment our clients started using the platform, they realized that this was setting a new standard for the for grain market. So we now have over 30 apps in the app store for our clients, and they have almost 1,500 farmers on our system on their private platforms using our system every day. And surprisingly, we've traded almost uh, 4 million bushels uh, have been traded on our platform from a farmer tapping that sell button to make the contract. And we're seeing our clients save hours every single day by uh, automating some of these tasks. So that's just the beginning. So what we see is an emerging need for a digital traceability environment as well. Uh, the supply chain has become increasingly digitized and our blockchain based technology is built to accurately and securely collect and then transfer that data along the supply chain. So we're currently building our live environment um, and we've completed three pilot projects to date. Uh, traceable soybeans uh, and malt barley and for the craft brewery so you can Scan a can of beer and see. Uh, 